In this film we're going to see how to make a cloud in a bottle. To do this we'll need three ingredients. First ingredient is air which is saturated with water vapour. To make that I've put a few centimetres of warm water in this bottle and left it to stand for a quarter of an hour. So now the air above the water is humid. It includes lots of water vapour. We can't see the water vapour because water vapour is an invisible gas. We're going to make some of it condense into tiny droplets of liquid water. That's the cloud that we'll see. The second ingredient that we'll need is some way of cooling down the air. One way to do that is to decompress it and we can do that by sucking some of the air out of the bottle. I'll try that now. Not very exciting, was it? That's because we're missing the third ingredient, condensation nuclei. These are tiny particles onto which the water can condense. We can add some of these by throwing in a lighted batch. The smoke forms the condensation nuclei. But before that, we'll go outside to avoid setting off the fire alarms. So, I'm going to light a match now and drop it into the bottle. I think we'll use two because it's quite a big bottle. Put the tap up, top back on. And I'll try sucking hard on this pipe again. And again. By throwing in the match we made a very high concentration of nuclei, so we got a very thick fog like the ones that would form in industrial cities before the Clean Air Act. In the real atmosphere, clouds can form on nuclei from dust and smoke from natural and man-made fires and tiny particles of salt from the ocean. This demonstration is described in more detail in these books, Clouds in a Glass of Beer by Craig Borens and Atmosphere, Ocean and Climate Dynamics by John Marshall and Alan Plum.